present about our project. Uh, that is, what does digital literacy mean to English department students? Uh, now for our presentation, uh, the table of content, there are the first introduction, methodology, result, and conclusion. Now, uh, start from the first point about introduction, can explain by Randy. So the background of our research of introduction, so literacy uh, means having skills that you need to live, learn, and work in society where communication and access to information is increasingly through digital technology like internet platform, social media, and media uh, and mobile device. So the next, okay, digital literacy is really important. And it's really important now. You are while you are you are a university student, and it also it will be important in the future when you enter the professional world, and then in your workplace, uh, you will be required to interact with people in digital environment. Use uh, use information in appropriate ways, and then create the ideas and product collaboratively. And above all, you will need to maintain uh, your your digital identity, and you and will be as a, as a digital digitalist landscape continues to change at fast pace. So the next is about the purpose explained by Tessa. Okay. Uh, for the next is about the purpose. The purpose of digital literacy is to describe. Like you can get say in here to, the, the, to describe the importance of all the information that we gain and also the way to use it. And the second is to find out the knowledge in internet and can solve all of the problem we get in here. So for the next is about the methods. The methods that we use in it is uh, online questionnaire. There are 10 questions. And then for the um, source of data we get from English department student. And also for the participant there are 29 students for it. For the next is about the result will be explained by my friends. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, because the last speaker already explained about the method, the purpose, and the participant of student, and now I will explain about the result of our project. So, uh, the first thing is about uh, students think that digital literacy is an important subject to be acquired. Um, so, uh, based on the data, uh, the pie chart shows that uh, the majority of students of 72% think that they agree about it. Uh, and then, 14% uh, students only strongly disagree about digital li literacy is an important subject to be acquired. And also, uh, the same 7% students think that uh, they strongly agree and disagree about digital literacy is important subject to be acquired. So, uh, based on the result of the data, uh, the students, they agree about it. Uh, and the next point is about uh, students think that what the importance for using internet access and information on the sources. Uh, so, uh, based on the data, uh, the pie chart shows that uh, the majority of 52% students think that they, uh, they think it's the very important for using internet access. And while 45% uh, students think that it's important, and only 3% uh, students think that it's unimportant for using internet access. So, uh, based on the result of the data, uh, mostly of the students think that using internet access and information on resources, uh, it's very, very important for them. Uh, so, okay, uh, and the next point is about through the internet, uh, the students can find any information that they need can extend by them. The data shows in the slide, we can see that in the first chart mostly, of our co correspondence, correspondence agree that uh, the internet can access any kind of information that students need with the percentage of 62%. While seven and seven of them really agree with uh, this statement, 
and only for people for, from our correspondent who do who don't sure or can be said moderate with this statement on the second slide the highest percentage is uh, 70 79 percentage uh, that agree with the statement that sharing for information use the internet has become a habit for students in the use the internet way to find the information five of our correspondent not really sure for the with the percentage of percentage of the seven seventy percentage and the lowest percentage with the percentage of three percent or only one per person who disagree with this statement uh, for the next there are four statement uh, it could uh, from the ten questioners so the first statement for the first is we want to know if the student uh, can know the, the, the difference between the information from the textbook or on the internet. And we got that from uh, the student. There are uh, 15 percent, 15 students said yes. And in the pie chart, it shows that to a 52 percent student say yes for it, which is means yes, the student know the difference between the information information they got from the internet or from the textbook. In the statement number two, uh, the purpose is uh, before the information they get it, the student must know the background or they can analyze the background from the information. If this information valid or not, because if not, maybe it can be a problem also for them. And from the student, we got that uh, 40, uh, 14, uh, 14 students say yes for it. And in the pie chart shows that 48 students say yes for it. The uh, th uh, the third statement in this uh, statement we want to know that the, the purpose is we want to know that student can discuss with the other friend with the other friends to uh, find a solve a problem so that from it we can we can find that most of the student they say yes for it yes they know and they can find a solve to prob to all of the problem they get to doing uh, to doing their task of it and in the pie chart you can see that. Um, 62% students say yes for it. And in the last statement, is about, we want to know if the student can translate, interpret, or they can say all of the information or things they got from the internet in their own words. Because we know that right now, uh, the still most of the students have their own ability to copy and paste the internet original from the internet to their uh, paper. So we want to know: Is it true that the student using digital literacy to do this or not? And then we got the, from uh, the pie chart. It shows it shows that um, f uh, fifty-two percent student uh, say yes for it. Which uh, say yes, which is uh, probably sorry. So, uh, they said probably they they probably do it. Or maybe they not do it. So that's from this statement. For the next, will be explained by Karomi. Uh, thank you, Ms. Tessa. Uh, the next slide. Okay, the next slide. Let's see about this chart. Um, the first statement said that uh, the student uh, can able can use the uh, knowledge to solve the uh, problem in their life. Uh, by 29, 29 participants says uh, 29 participant, uh, 72 percent uh, participant think that yes, that's capable. Uh, we can uh, solve our problem daily life uh, just by uh, sharing knowledge from the internet. Uh, the number two, this statement says uh, that a student can be able to uh, take information from the internet. Uh, they can read it, they can share it, and then can, then they can um, discuss, just make a little discuss. Uh, by 29 participants, um, 68, can you say 68, 68 68% participants say that very, very capable. They uh, they agree they very agree that um, they very they very agree that uh, knowledge from internet okay uh, they can uh, discuss they can share it take topic and uh, discuss it 
they they think that uh, sixty eight percent participant I think that is very relevant by uh, nineteen uh, part uh, nineteen participants. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next slide about conclusion will talk by Mr. Andy. So the next is about uh, conclusion of our new research. So most of English department students say that digital literacy is important to study. By studying that, they can use the, the properly internet, uh, the properly access the internet. And then uh, it means that they use the, uh, the it means that they, they can use the internet for gathering and insight and then analyze relevant information and then be able to sharing their knowledge about digital literacy with their friends and talk about the topic and discussion. In the last, be able to use the digital literacy uh, to solve their problems in their lives. So that's all for us. Thank you.